Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the um, three chambered composting system that we have our European night crawlers on the left, the red wigglers in the middle, and the African night crawlers on the right. The level was completely to the top last week, if you recall, um, and it's completely dropped down. And I noticed right away that the African night crawler chamber here looks much more composted than these other two chambers, which still have a lot of bedding to go. So I just figured we will um, empty each chamber out the way we have been, take a peek at how the worms are doing, if we're seeing some cocoons, and um, get this fed up if it looks like they could handle it. Okay guys, so this is the contents of the European uh, Nightcrawler chamber. And I just figured we will look at it and kind of add it back to the bin as we go. But um, there is a lot of unprocessed bedding in here. But I do see there's a little baby over here. So that's a good sign. Got some really big adults as well. You can see that. They're looking very, very healthy. Not seeing any cocoons immediately, but I'm sure that they are in here. We'll probably spot some, I would think. But the moisture is getting a little bit dryish, although I think in this type of system, there's a cocoon. Um, you definitely need to run it a little bit drier so that it doesn't get anaerobic in the bottom. I'd rather it be a hair on the dry side than even a hair on the wet side, to be honest. It's just very, very hard to ensure that there's good aeration in the bottom. So for me... I have no problem running this a little on the dry side, um, and I do check it periodically, and it's definitely not too dry. So, um, seeing lots of worms, various sizes. There's another cocoon. Looks like it may have already hatched. It's like the shell. There's some more juvenile worms, some little wisps down there. That's looking great. We've got some adults running up the side here that I'm going to grab and just put them back in. Very big, healthy worms. But really, everything is looking good. There's a freshly laid cocoon right there. Making a mess. But all of the worms look healthy. They'll definitely need a feeding this week. There's really only bedding in here. I was cautious last week just because there was that one European night crawler that died for some reason. Could have just been old age, could have been anything, but always better to err on the side of caution. So I'm just going to kind of add this back. We'll take a little bit, a little bit more of a look. But there's still cocoons being laid in here, which I'm, I'm really surprised. I thought at some point relatively quickly they would stop just because it's a small space that's cocoon number what three that we've we've spotted again another freshly laid cocoon that yellowish color but yeah absolutely looking fantastic there's another one so i'm just going to get all the contents of this back into the um, chamber here and then I'm going to pull out the red wigglers. We'll take a look at them then the African night crawlers and we will get these guys fed up. Here is another cocoon. Okay, so here we are with our red wigglers. Again, uh, this compost to me feels on the dry side. So we'll definitely give them a moist feeding today. but they do look healthy. There's a cocoon down there. So they're also still, still doing some reproducing. I think I just saw one over there as well. We'll see if we can find it. But again, they're just doing absolutely fantastic. There's a cocoon right there.
see a little baby poking out there. So there's some wisps, another cocoon freshly laid. They're absolutely doing fantastic. I mean, you can see all the babies and the juvenile worms. So they're reproducing for us. They're giving us lots of cocoons. Still have a ton of bedding. There's another cocoon. Um, but they are making really good work. Really good work of it. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Um, I would say that this system, you'd have to be very, very careful to maintain your moisture. That's been my a uh, little bit of a problem simply because it's hard to get down to the bottom and if you can't get down to the bottom it can get anaerobic. Um, I would even say that the system smells borderline musty. I didn't smell it in the European chamber just in this one but it is something to take note of and just be careful about. We don't want to um, you know create an environment that's not healthy. There's another cocoon, bunch of worms, adults there, some babies. I mean, just everything looks absolutely fantastic. So we'll um, finish up with the African night crawlers and then we'll give a small feeding to each of these chambers and let it go for another week. We'll probably have to slow down uh, on the feeding and let them work through some of the bedding, but um, they still are going to need a little something today. Okay, so finally, the African night crawlers. I do immediately notice that they seem to be doing much, much better at composting everything relatively quickly. You can just see the castings all throughout here. Of course, there is some unprocessed bedding, but not nearly the amount that I saw in the other two chambers, but it's not an issue, just something I wanted to take note of, and we did see that little cocoon a minute ago. So they're also still reproducing. Again, really surprising to me. I'm actually thinking, whoo, when I retire this system, um, I might actually make these three chambers into three, um, what do you call it? Cocoon bins. Just do each one uh, cocoons of a different species and see how that goes. But I mean, you can just see the size of these worms in comparison to even the European night crawlers. They're so much longer. So they're much larger, so I'm sure that they can eat more. Um, but, again, they're processing everything. There's no odor to this bin at all, this little chamber. Um, again, seeing cocoons, seeing mature worms, seeing some juvenile worms, everything that we want to be seeing. It's, it's perfect. I couldn't be more pleased. I really didn't know how this was going to go. I know I've said that multiple times, but I, I really was concerned that um, especially these larger worms would not do good in such a confined space, but they seem to be thriving. We haven't had any issues in any of the chambers except for that European, rogue European night crawler that, that died, and I honestly don't think that that had anything to do with the conditions, but again, we just did the smart thing, played it a little conservative, we're careful, and everything looks just fine. Cocoons everywhere wisps everywhere exactly what we would hope for from these guys so i'm going to get a little bit of food together get all of these bins keep calling them bins chambers fed up and um we'll probably be getting ready to stop feeding these soon to let them finish working through the the um existing bedding but they're absolutely doing fantastic i could not be more excited about how well this has been going so um let me grab a little something and we'll get them fed up so first and foremost little bit of eggshell into each chamber. Of course, worms, as we know, need grit. Okay, so a lovely mixture here of coffee grounds, um, bell peppers that have been frozen and thawed. And I did add a little bit of bedding just because the coffee is very wet and the um, bell peppers after thawing had a lot of standing liquid. And although I need to add liquid, I don't want to add so much that we end up with another problem. So I added extra eggshell in here because of the coffee. Um, and that can be acidic. So wanted to make sure I was careful about that. And I'm gonna add that right down the front in here. That was a handful in there. And move down here. Doing this in the mortar tray works much better. Can also control my mess a little bit better. 
this down in the front here. And my last handful, which is probably going to be the largest handful for sure, is going to go into our African Nightcrawler chamber. And you can see some mites there. I just see them running along the edges, which is fine. And I'm just going to loosely cover this back up with this bedding at the top with the grit that not only is burying up what we have in here, but also going to allow for a little bit of extra air and moisture to be absorbed into the existing bedding so that our worms don't have any sort of problem with what we gave them. So our levels back up significantly. Um, I liked the idea of feeding kind of right up front. So maybe we'll see a little bit more um, signs of activity in front of the windows. Um, so nothing overly exciting today, but everything still is going quite, quite well. So I'm pleased with that. So I'm going to leave it for another week. So let me know what you think, guys. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. And I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.